The significance of the President's visit to the U.S., to New York and Washington, D.C., is primarily to spread um, the good news about um, the economic recovery of the Philippines, the economic performance. Um, our credit ratings are, are up. They've been upgraded. Um, we've been able to um, produce more investments for the countries. And, of course, the President has always said that um, his main objective is really to create more economic opportunities for our people. And um, this trip to the U.S., um, specifically to New York and Washington, is part of that program. And it's also um, to spread the word about how good governance is contributing to economic growth. It is a certainly a major um, accomplishment on the part of the um, Aquino government to be one of the eight steering committee members or the eight founding members of the Open Government Partnership, which will be launched, launched here in New York. This is a new um, grouping of countries which are committed to open and transparent governance. And um, as uh, we all know, the president is very committed to open governance and transparency and the promotion of, of clean um, government um, in the Philippines. So this is part of that. Um, this is essentially a new partnership between governments and civil society in um, promoting good governance. The main message to the international community is that the commitment which was laid down by the president um, when he took office a year ago, which is to ensure that there is open, transparent, um, governance in the Philippines, that uh, we have built a level playing field and that the rules will be observed at all times, um, is being brought again to the um, international community through our being part of um, the eight founding members of the Open Government Partnership, uh, better known as the OGP. As you mentioned, um, for the launch, uh, formal launch of the OGP, the eight founding members will welcome 36 new uh, country members. And um, all of um, these OGP members are now committed to producing specific um, country action plans, which will, of course, address um, various issues concerning good governance um, on pre procurement, on transparency of government um, decision making, on the observance of policies which have been set by um, the respective governments of the member countries. Of course, um, the President will be meeting with um, the top officials and the CEOs of um, uh, corporations ranging from uh, those involved in uh, business process outsourcing to export of um, certain goods. And again, the message will be that um, the Philippines is back on track. Um, the um, economy is on the upswing. Um, there is growth. Um, our credit um, upgrades um, have, been, have been set um, for this year and that the targets um, for revenue collection and, of course, for transparency in um, all government transactions are in place and are being implemented. Fordham University, of course, is one of the leading universities um, here in the U.S. And um, 25 years ago to the day, almost to the day that the uh, President um, Benigno Aquino uh, III will be conferred an honorary degree, his uh, mother, the late President Corazon Aquino, was also conferred um, the same degree by Fordham University. So you can imagine it's a very um, historic moment and, of course, um, also a very poignant moment um, for the President to be receiving the same honor which his um, late mother, the late President Cory Aquino, received um, almost a quarter of a century ago. For the um, roundtable event with the um, U.S. ASEAN Business Council and the Philippine American Chamber of Commerce, the President will be um, sitting down and will be speaking to top businessmen, CEOs, um, regarding again uh, the program of action of the government um, to attract more investors, um, the sound fiscal economic policies which are now in place, and of course um, the confidence which um, international credit rating agencies have um, bestowed upon the country in the last few months. We are not sure if they will have um, time to, to have a 
very um, concentrated in a private conversation, but certainly um, they will be both at the same event. There will be an opportunity for them to um, exchange some words during the event.